Hey what's going on guys, it's Evan from Model 3D and today I'm going to be doing the review of the Flex 3D build plane. So you may have seen a few weeks ago that I unboxed the Flex 3D build plane. This was a purchase from Kickstarter. Um, it cost me about £20 I think. And it was there wasn't much information about it, it was basically a flexible build plate that you just attach to your printer We're using the um, binding clips that it came with. And apparently you just print straight on it so all well and good you I mean it saves kind of having to use glue or kind of um, hairspray or any ABS slurry or anything like that so I purchased it hoping to be able to chuck it straight on my printer print away no problems but it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be I received it I put it straight on I used the glass puck to um, kind of level it to level it against the nozzle and I couldn't get anything to stick I was printing PLA and it was saying no heat for the heat bed, so I was printing zero heat, uh, 210, and nothing. I tried loads of different temperatures for PLA, I tried everything, and it just couldn't get it to go. And it said, do not do not use um, heat on the build plate as you'll warp it. Um, the maximum it can go to is about 30 degrees, so I tried 30 degrees, nothing. Um, and then, yeah, I, I was fed up, I wasn't happy at all. So I just went for it and tried 70 degrees, just because obviously the plate wasn't going to work for me anyway and it printed lovely, it was sticking really nice. So another problem I ran into with this build plate was that it came with two binding clips. Um, they were all well and good, they're just regular bulldog clips. I clipped them on and I realized that where most printers go up and down on the z-axis with the build plate, uh, mine actually goes through this little kind of tunnel um, and the build plate moves forwards and backwards, meaning that the clips actually came in contact with the machine when it was moving back and forth, which sucked which meant that I had to actually put them in the right position every time so they wouldn't catch but then my uh, nozzle and my fan shroud and everything would actually catch on the bulldog clips and it was it was hell so I decided to print these little things it's just a nice little clip that fits onto the side of the print bed it sits flush with the print bed or just kind of sticks out a tiny little bit meaning they won't catch on the uh, machine and they're nice and low um, doesn't take up much of the actual build plate so that's nice because then obviously the fan shroud won't catch it and they work. I printed two of these. I printed them at a 0.3mm layer height and a 75% infill. Just they're nice and strong. They don't look too pretty but that doesn't really matter. Um, I just want them a quick print and they work great. So I'm going to print another two. So I've got one at the front, one at the back and one at either side. So it keeps it nice and locked down. And yeah, so after a few little tweaks I'm actually really happy with it. I'm not going to be printing on my regular build plate anymore. My machine still has the build tack applied to it but this works great for me and with it being kind of like the rough texture on the top I know that if I ever kind of mess it up, um, as you can see I've um, had my nozzle run into it a bit close at some point but I can just get a bit of sandpaper, sand it back down, give it a nice kind of grippy texture again and keep printing on it. it. It works great so I'm really happy about that. So like I said, good points, bad points but Overall, is it worth your money? Um, personally, I think it is. I think um, printing PLA, um, I mean obviously some people have warping issues and I haven't had any of that. I've printed large stuff like the Pixar lamp on this and I've printed these little things. Um, I, with the Pixar lamp it had tiny, tiny little kind of components and little clips and I printed them on the, the straight build plate, no raft or anything and that worked really well. So I would personally buy this again. If there was a bit more information on how to use it and kind of different guides and different tips. Um, like I said they suggested not using heat with it as it would warp it but the only way I got it to actually work properly and work well for me was with heat at 70 degrees. Um, I actually haven't tried ABS on this as I bought it primarily for my PLA printer which is my one hang and yeah I'm really really happy with it. So in the beginning I saw a lot of people that were actually disappointed with this plate um, a lot of comments on the Kickstarter campaign page saying that it doesn't work for them. Um, they've tried everything, they've tried different settings and nothing happens. And I think the one thing was the heat. Like I said before, they told everyone not to use a heated bed or at most 30 degrees. And I tried 30, I tried 40, I tried 50, nothing worked. And 70 was a magic number. It hasn't actually warped the plate a much. There's a tiny, tiny little bend in it. Um, but that might just be from where I'm flexing it while it's still warm, I guess. Um, but the clips stop that, they hold it down nice and flat, 
Um, obviously one either side at the moment and they work great. So I'll pop a link down in the description to my Thingiverse file for these little clips if you need them. Um, obviously if your build plate only moves up and down and you've got a lot of space either side then the Bulldog clips that came with it won't be a problem. I'm not quite sure what material this is and I'm not quite sure how you would source this on your own. Um, it might be kind of like sanded acrylic or anything or something like that but it works really well. It's got a nice strength to it, a nice kind of flex to it and the whole point of it was to actually be able to flex it without having to kind of get a paint scrape or anything under there like that and it works really well for that. It's actually strangely satisfying to hear the kind of crack and have them pop straight off. So please leave a comment down below if you've got one of these. Uh, maybe you've been having a bit of trouble with it. Maybe you needed some clips for it, which hopefully these will work great for you. Um, maybe you couldn't get it to stick and now with hopefully my suggestion, 70 degrees should get it going. And I highly suggest using it. If you like this video, please make sure to click the thumbs up button below. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. There's lots of future videos coming, like the review on my One Hive Duplicator i3. I've got a few build videos. I've got lots of good stuff coming up. So I look forward to that, and I'll see you in the next video.